Do 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 do. Hello, everybody. It's me, Loki, Loki Naiden, and well, you can actually hear my voice for once in these little planet me bobs. Yes, this is Crashdown Park, a little park that I built in the space of what uh, two parts, about three hours, and it really does not take up much space at all. So this is the entire boundary of the park right here. And then this is where my park is. It's small. It's small indeed. And yes, guest thinks the power core is great value. Well, it is because it's free. Everything is free in Crashdown. Let's actually go have a tour because, yeah, I've uh, been spending a little bit of time on this. Been spending a little bit of time on this. But everything that you have seen in the last two parts is everything that I have ever done in this game. I have no clue, really. <laughs> how to play this game and everything that I have done, whoop, 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 everything that I have done is all the experience that I actually have in the game. So uh, if my movement is still a little bit jank, I do apologize for that. But let's have a little bit of a tour. Let's have a little bit of a tour. So straight on in, you are met by this. You cannot really see much of anything because essentially we're walking straight on into a crater. So our entrance is right here. Let's get into head height. Ooh, ah, yeah, so the first thing that I did actually want as we went into the park is this big open entrance. Hey dude, ooh, what you got? Bit of rubbish, thanks for taking your rubbish out. But yeah, we've got this nice open entrance where you've got Coffee Fox and you've got the Monster Free right there. And now you can actually see there's like dudes shooting at each other. Oh no, he went down on top of the Coffee Fox. Yes, we've got an alien fighting a dude on top of the two shops that we've got right there, along with a couple of little blasters, which are protecting the crash site. So yeah, the whole sort of theme of this area is essentially a, a crashed spaceship with the power core, which is actually the name of the ride as well, the power core, uh, essentially going into critical overload, which is why it does all loads of flips and stuff. But yeah, essentially it's just like a crashed site, which somebody's decided, oh, I'm going to build a theme park around this weird glowy power core thing. So that is what I have done. So yeah, we go in, we've got, ooh, repair robots floating around. Just ignore the feet. Just ignore the feet right there. And uh, yeah, we've got all these wonderful bits and pieces, these spinny bobs, ooh, spinny bobs. And this is the rescue ship that has come down with Cosmic Cow. Yeah, we're, we're building the lore into the park. We're building the lore into the park here. Cosmic Cow spaceship coming down to save the day with Gulpy setting up shop to... Oh, just hopped over the side there. Hopped over the side. And then we've got some you know, park benches where people can have some noms. Oh, accidentally went into a shop there. Park benches where people can have some noms. I've tried to hide the staff entrances out of the way slightly. This guy's just popping off for his 30-minute uh, his lunch break. You right? Yeah, he good. He good. Yeah, he's going off on his 30 minute lunch break. I uh, messed around with the toilets a little bit, so they're a little bit more spacey. Uh, they were just like these solid uh, concrete blocks. I just want to make it a bit more interesting. And then I figured, because we've got one shop, which is just like a pre-built, um, I thought I'd try and build on top of it. So now we've got like a little extra bit up here. So I figured I'd try and just chuck another one in. And you know what? I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It's a little bit fiddly around here that, that that bit's a little bit messed up but overall i'm pretty happy with how that came out to be honest i'm pretty damn happy with how that came out the thief has been caught yay resolving the crime resolving the crime yes what do we have here then we've got oh yeah i'm really happy with this so this is my first completely hand-built structure so what i did here was i got little claw machines the claw for the little alien thing and it's a little spinny dish and it's a very simple structure indeed, a very simple structure indeed. But I really think it fits into the whole thing. It's just a lot of like chucking in some amusements into side of the little beep 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 beep. I really like it. I really like it indeed. But you know, we've been beating around the bush. Let's actually see the ride. Ooh. So yeah, the the whole thing is it's crashed down and there's like another engine which is just spewing stuff. So if we actually just boop 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 boop. You can see it sort of crashed down with the engine there. And then you can see that we've got like dead trees and, and it, it sort of like plateaus off into semi-dead into the greenery. So again, the whole law, because I love building parks around law and story, it's that it's crashed down, it's gone bam, straight into the ground here. And essentially it started to like poison the surroundings. So like all these dead trees are where the power core is affecting it. 
and then uh, towards the back here, the furthest away from the power core, it was green and lush. So it's like I've tried to make it so that the entire park looks like it's been affected by everything, which is why we've got all this dead shrubbery and all this fire where it's just like stuck in the ground. It's just blowing up fumes and fire and ah, oh, gorgeous stuff, gorgeous stuff indeed. But yeah, let's get back down to head height down here. So yeah, we can go through here. Ooh, you can get a nice view up here. Ah. And then as we go round, so you've got some ships, you've got a little repair droid doing his thing. And then we've got these little boys! These little boys, they're, they're more of a, a fantasy a animatronic, but I think they work as like little sprat things. Um, they, they really do look like the sprats from the Outer Worlds. Yes, the Outer Worlds, I always get mixed up between the Outer Worlds and Outer Worlds. They look like little sprats from the Outer Worlds, so they, they, they look really sci-fi to me. They look really sci-fi indeed, and get scanned as you go on, scanned for intruders. Warp. Warp. And wait. Why are my security guards here? Why do they all look like security What? What? I'm so confused. Are you needing the bathroom? Yeah, this guy really needs the bathroom. <laughs> Why did he get on a ride if you need the bathroom, dude? <laughs> oh no, he's not going to enjoy his time. He's not going to enjoy his time here. And then, oh, look at this ride. The power core's going critical! Woo! Oh yeah! 41% thought the power core is really good value when it's free as I mentioned! And yeah, we're, we're slightly in the red. Slightly in the red if we look at... <laughs> we look at our uh, finances, there we go. Slightly in the red, but the park value is 12,000 monies! And our cash flow is minus 9,000. So, uh, just in that month actually, oh bloody hell, we're not making money. Not in the slightest, but yeah. That is the power core. And then come through the foyer and the flames. And back out again. And then I don't really know what I was doing with this back part here. Uh, people don't really visit it because well, there's nothing over here. Um, I was thinking I might do like an underground thing. Where it would be another sort of like little underground shop type thing. But I didn't really want to mess with the, the whole narrative of, of that being a whole dead section of the park. So it actually makes sense that there's like no one over there. Uh, at least in my mind it does, and then of course you need first aid, and there's more toilets. We've got toilets over on the left here, toilets over on the right. And, let's be honest, it's a very small park. There's not a lot going on in terms of rides. There is the o only the one ride. But I like small parks. It, it means that you can have a really nice, cohesive theme. And although, you know, this bit, this bit, this bit, they're pre-built. All of this bit around here, but that bit, another bit is pre-built, but all of that bit around here and all these trees, place those all individually and we put all these bits and pieces. I think it really works. I think it really works with the pre-built, with some other bits and pieces that I have put down, try to place it so that it looks like it actually does belong. I have to say, for a first try in Planet Coaster with only about three hours experience, yeah, three, three hours it took to chuck all this together, I'm really happy with the outcome. I'm really, really happy with the outcome indeed. And yeah, it's not it's not the smoothest thing in terms of like park operations. But it wasn't designed to be. It was designed to be a little experiment, see if I could get a cohesive theme going through. And Crash Down Park, I have to say, I'm extremely happy with. In fact, Coffee Vox, hello. Where are you? Where are you? I want to be doing something with you next. But spoilers. Spoilers. I like your beanie. Can I customize the beanie? No, I can't customize the beanie, but I can train you. There you go. I will train you, Foxy number one! Yes, you should be trained. Trained in the art of sci-fi. Yeah, I'm really happy with this park. Really happy indeed. And if you do have any advice on how to uh, do bits and pieces, I can try and take that into the next mini park that I make, because I think I'll be making lots more mini parks. Uh, I don't really like the idea of making a massive big park because my computer might just go a heck and, and, and hecking die. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to practice some more, some more mini parks, try and keep some nice cohesive themes going forward. We've had our sci-fi and there's lots, lots of different uh, types of filters, filters, scenery themes. There's like fairy tale, festive, pirate, planet coaster, its own thing, western, and then I think I've got another couple of content packs. I've got the... Spooky! Yeah, I've got the spooky one and like a vintage one. And then I can make my own themes with blackjack and hookers. Like I can have a Candyland one, which is like a very Christmassy thing. But yeah, I want to be doing some mini parks first. And then 
I might be doing a bigger thing where I basically just go into my computer, cries in anguish, where I just have like a park with lots of different themes and stuff going on like that. But yeah, this is Crashdown Park. I hope you've enjoyed the quick little whirlwind tour around it, and you've enjoyed the narrative of a Crashdown spaceship which just splintered apart with power core going critical and some rescuers coming down, setting up shop, trying to defuse the situation. But unfortunately, in the meantime, it does indeed come to that shield, shield, shield bit of this little park tour. If you did enjoy it, you know, hit that follow button. And if you massively enjoyed it, hit the subscriber button. If not, that's perfectly fine as well. Those sorts of things can go and crash down, much like that power core did indeed come down into our park. But yes, thank you so much for watching our videos, vods, and live streams. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and indeed, a good night.